Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install GhostBSD 11.1 version which is recently launched version under GhostBSD distribution on VirtualBox in this video. Now before we go in the deep dive of installation of GhostBSD 11.1 on Oracle VirtualBox, let us first of all understand what is GhostBSD. GhostBSD is a Unix-like operating system based on FreeBSD with Mate as its default desktop environment and before that we have Genome as the default desktop environment before 10.1. It aims to be very easy to install, ready to use and easy to use. The project goal is to combine security, privacy, stability, usability, openness, freedom and to be free of charge. It was built by Eric Tugin and Coast PSD team and the working state is its current development. The latest release is 11.1 which was available on November 16, 2017 about 44 days back. The platforms which is available is i386 up to and include 10.3 and AMD64 and the kernel type is monolithic and the default user interface is mate. And here is the official website which I have already opened that is ghostpst.org and I will leave the link of this website in the description below. So let's go and explore this website first. So if I click on about it will give you some more interface regarding what is the overview and here you can even see the video in order to install ghostpst but the version is 10.3 but I will be covering 11.1 in this video. So you can see that the origins are from Canada and well in Canada, Italy, Germany and USA and free and open source and even the source code is available on GitHub. And the sponsors are Redfin under Matthew Carlson, 144 gigahertz monitor, uh, power DRA guru, so pickles up word, everything else. So if I click on news, you can find the latest news which is coming under uh, Ghost PSD and if I click on community it is having very active community if you find uh, any problem you can just share on the Ghost PSD forums and you can even subscribe to what the latest news which are happening to Ghost PSD project. If I click on continue in order to download it you can find that you can buy the ready to use portable disk also and you can even buy 8 GB memory sticks that come pre-installed with Ghost PSD. So in this video I will not be using XFCE I will be using the Mate desktop which is about 64 bit and AMD 64 and I recommend that you use torrent based download because sometimes direct based downloads can uh, come some issue with the internet speeds but torrent download will be very good. So even you can report a bug over here and you can see again the installation video and if I click on on wiki you will find the more information on wiki based information so I click on back over here and if there is something you want to contribute you can even contribute with your questions you can even do chat you can even do the review promote documentations everything is available on course BSD it is opening and fully maintained documented Linux operating system based the BSD operating system so if you go to store you can find some stickers like a course BSD batch sticker it's a very good sticker so if you want to donate to this project you can find that uh, about 385 for two dollars have been raised so far in 2017 so it's a very good operating system to try about so now let's go and start our Oracle virtual box and let's deep dive into the ghost BSD so if I click on new I type it ghost BSD so type you select is BSD and version should be free BSD 64 bit because I'm using the 64 bit so make it sure it is 64 bit so I click on next and I change the RAM size to 2048 which about 2 GB of RAM so if you want to increase more RAM like 3 GB 4 GB 6 GB 8 GB you can do but uh, uh, for this video demonstration 2 GB of RAM will be very much good in order to deploy in a cream manner for ghost BSD so I click on next I click on create so I click on next again dynamically allocated next and I allocate 16 GB space to ghost PSD and I click on create so before I fire up I just click on settings so I go to advanced and I enable the drag and drop and share clipboard by clicking on bidirectional and I go to system and I just uh, tag away the floppy and I just put down the optical disk so that after installation the first boot can be hard disk drive I go to display you can find all the settings are available and good so under here we can click on empty you can just go and choose virtual hard disk drive and I go with course PSD 11.1 mate version so if I click on properties over here you can find it is about 2.34 GB of download size so I click on open and I click on OK 
So if you want to do some network settings, you can do, but no need. So I just fire and click on start. So in a few seconds, it will be starting. So I click on close over here. So live session is there, single user and everything. So I just go with the live session. So that we first of all start with the basic session and inside that we go with the default installations over there. So you can see that it has started. So a very beautiful interface will be there. And the default username is GhostPSD, which will be used in order to start the session. So I just press enter. And the session will be made. So the mouse has already been booted. Now you can see there were a very beautiful wallpaper over here. And a good sound. So what we have to do is to start with the installer. So what we can do, we can just go to this Ghost PSD installer and double click over there. So the starter has started. So first of all, we are greeted with the language interface. So I can take the default as English. So I click on next. So over here we have the USA based keyboard. So no need to test the keyboard. So I click on next. So the continent which I am there is Asia and uh, I can select uh, so Vietnani so I'm in Vietnam so I can select Vietnani so I click on next so UFS full disk and uh, just go over there make it sure that you install only free BSD loader so it's a default installation so I just click on next and over here I just check the disk and I just click on next so we've typed the root password I just take my name as the password so I just go with my real name, Ananaya, password Anand. So shell can be fish only. So I just click on install. So it will take about uh, five to 10 minutes in order to install. And it's a very clean install and it's a very interactive based install. You can see that nothing uh, to be done, a uh, rocket science to install Coast BSD. And it is highly, highly stable highly stable I can say so you can see that it has started installing so in this video I will be using the mate desktop mate desktop is becoming a very good desktop and it is almost replacing the genome desktops almost you can say in most of the Linuxes in most of the BSD Linux versions and even into Debian's so you can say that it is having a good future now so Genome is outdated now. So if you want to install the latest version of Linux, I recommend you to go with the Mate based desktop. So till it installs, let us pause the video for some time. So almost you can see that 80% of the distribution has already been copied. So it is going on fast. So it has taken about 10 to 15 minutes to reach over here. So it requires ample time. So grab a coffee with you. So let's uh, see the final installation versions. So it is running the ch root commands and every command which is required. So almost we are done with the installation. So it is unmounting the DVD and USB drive because I can say that it is finished. And yes, so installation is complete. So we need to restart the system. So let's click on restart. So it is syncing the disks and uh, so that we can reboot from our hard disk drive now. And yes, you can see it is booting. And now let's wait for the interface to come. So it is the multi-user. So let's press enter. So a clean interface, fast interface and a powerful interface. So you can see that the VBox has already been installed.
okay so let me type my name and password so you can see that the session is made so let's get aware regarding some of the desktop features so defaultly I can say that the virtual box is installed and a code sound so here we have applications places and systems so if we go with applications so we have accessories education graphics internet office sound and video system tools so accessories we have a plank based puma based uh, text editor so you have the gedit like that in different operating systems so we have education we have LibreOffice, we have graphics we have internet which is having the firefox ghost bsd incorporation thunderbird and even the chromium can be installed even that so office we have the LibreOffice, so everything is there with word excel powerpoint everything is over there so sounds uh, and video we have the cheese genome m player sound and xf burn and system tools here we have that is the octo package which is the package manager and here we have the mate terminal so let's go with the mate terminal first so now let's uh, start with some commands so you can see that we are interacting with a fish uh, in, uh, shell that is known as a friendly interactive shell so first of all let us start with the command that is free BSD hyphen version so if you want to update you can also update so over here we can even give one command that is service space minus E and you can see that uh, the services of V box is also being running over here so even you can go with the with the root user and let's change the desktop background also so let's go with the close terminal and let's just change the change desktop background and here we have the lots of backgrounds which are there so let's go with this type of background so you can see a very detailed and a highly resolution background over here and if we go with the octo uh, pkg you can find lots of packages over here so let's try to see the interface also so let us give the root password so it is synchronizing the databases so it is fetching the database files you can see that uh, in the first time it will crawl because it is a fresh installation it will take some time so let's wait for the package sites so depending on the internet connection it will take some time so processing all the entries and command finishes ok so about 265059 packages are there so let's search chromium so chromium package is there so you can just uh, go with the filter install package search for remote packages you can just go over here files transaction output usage everything is being available over here so it's a clean and a good desktop so in this video I have demonstrated how to install the ghost PSD on VirtualBox and uh, the default VirtualBox settings are already been installed so I request you to do give this a shot it's a very clean operating system do like this video do comment and give me your experiences how do you like the experience and what other things do you want me to operate on this ghost PSD so I would love to see your comments so Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.